Hi, so fans. Okay, I have a lot to unpack on YNR today, so this one might be a little bit longer than my usuals, but I'll try to keep it as brief as possible and hit all the points. Okay, today was Couples Day on YNR, and a little bit of child, um, children things, but I'll unpack everything. Um, okay, first of all, we're dealing with two couples here, um, Sharon and Chance, and Lily and Daniel. And the kid we're, we're dealing with here is Connor, so Adam and Chelsea's son. All right. Um, Sharon and Chance, um, I think that, uh, okay, here's what's confusing me. They're supposedly in a relationship, right? Um, a relationship which I wholeheartedly agree with because, for one, um, they're more age-appropriate than Summer and Chance. Number two, Sharon hasn't had a relationship for at least two years now. She's been in the coffee shop being a psychiatrist in the coffee shop, but no relationship. And I do not want her with Nick right away. Yes, I understand if you believe in Endgame, they might be that. But, come on. You can, you can have another relationship before you do Endgame. Alright. Um, and also, why I'm confused is because they were in the park or something. And he, um, he sees her and they're talking. But before she gets there, he gets a text from, I'm guessing, Summer on his phone and then has a conversation and everything with Sharon like nothing happened. So I don't know what stage they're at. Um, I guess they're not really official if he's not telling her that he got a text from Summer. And I don't mind the love triangle. I don't. But I mind it when you hide a person from your partner, supposed to be your partner, and you hide a person from them. I don't agree with that. Um, okay. Moving on to Lily, Lily and Daniel, and in, in some ways, Heather. Um, okay. So, Heather is going to stay in town uh, for the summer, I'm guessing, because also the daughter, Lucy, is going to be in town for the summer, um, and she wanted to know if Daniel was okay with her staying that long, and Daniel thought it was because she wanted to keep tabs on him or something, and make sure that he didn't hurt Lucy again, and he had to say that I'm not the same person I was, and I... I would never intentionally hurt Lucy. So there's that part. But then also, um, okay, so Lily and Daniel are in the um, uh, coffee shop. Uh, I don't know. Um, so the, they're somewhere and they're having a coffee. It has to be in the morning, so coffee. Coffee and some kind of chocolate, something. I don't know. So then she says, Lily says, I'm going to be late. Don't make me late. Um, and then he's like, well, it's okay for you to be a little bit not on time. You're always perfect. It doesn't matter. That kind of a thing. So then they're kind of kissing, right? And it just so happens that Heather is in eyesight of them. Not right there, but like in the across the way kind of a thing. So, okay. So then you can see the jealousy on her face, right? If I could do the facial expression, it's like, like, pissed off and like, why are you, you know, like that? I'm like, okay. And then, um, and then, so Lily is going to go off and rush off to work, right? And it just so happens she forgets her iPad or tablet or something. So then she has to come back in. And she just so happens to reschedule her meeting. Right? Okay. So, when uh, Daniel and Heather are talking, 
Lily sees them the same way that Heather did, and she she's not pissed off, but she's like got this puzzled look on her face. So I'm kind of like, okay, jealousy there. And then, uh, let's see. Then, like I said, she just happens to reschedule the meeting so they can catch up. And uh, then, <laughs> then Lily does what you do, I guess, and says, oh, yeah, Lucy loves the fact that we met in high school and we were so young. And then Heather, trying to be nice, says, yeah, I'm glad you and Daniel got back together, you know. And then and then after she's done making the dig, uh, Lily, she gets a phone call, supposedly from her team, and she says, I have to take this. I'm sorry. And then that's how the episode ends. Talk about, like, um, shade on both sides. Okay. And then the... Trial element is Connor uh, doesn't want to go to Walnut Grove school. I told you that last week. And so the alternative is he just happens to find in his room in about five minutes um, the fact of like another school for emotionally whatever kids, like a psychologist. They have therapists all the time and stuff like that. And he's like begging his parents for them to go there. So, okay. Here's what I think. And I think I'm pretty right about one part of it. I'm not too sure about the other one. I think they're going to Saras, which is so proper at rapid age, uh, Connor into a teenager or something. Or at least change the actor... And I just saw on soap Twitter that Melissa Claire Egan, who plays Chelsea, she had the baby. So, um, she had her baby. So she's probably going on maternity leave for a little bit. Because the story they wrote is that they're going to let Connor go to the school he wants. But then she has to live with her mother, Mia. And, of course, that's out of town, out of Genoa City. So it would be the perfect spot for her to do maternity leave during that time. So, but I'm not sure about the rapid aging syndrome with the kid actor. I'm not sure about that. But we'll see how that goes. All right. Bye, guys.